Hey guys, this is Jay on T, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Oracle Twins. Uh, I did off-screen that bomb thing and got a small key. It just took me one more try. But, yeah, that's an annoying room. But I did manage to do it without having to buy bombs from that annoying scrub. And, I don't know, I consider that a victory. Snake's remains. Hmm. Dodge the big bladed thing. Get some more bombs. Replenish our supply. And head back down along the path that got us killed last time. <laughs> This time, I'm going prepared. Ha! Stupid bat, you're not gonna hurt me this time. What do we have down here? Ten rubies! Mm. Okay. Now, here you've got to be careful, because you don't want to be standing on those uh, cracked floors when you're pushing, uh, when you're pushing these roller thingies. Because if you are standing on a cracked floor, well, it's going to break out from under you, of course. As all cracked floors always do in video games. Oh, we have found the mini-boss. Oh, it's this guy. You guys will remember him from, uh... In, um... In Link's Awakening, he was a, um... He was an actual boss. And he had, I believe, exactly the same attack pattern. He probably just had more HP or something. Yeah, probably took more damage. I don't know. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. <coughs> Either way, <laughs> whether he's harder now than he was in A Link to the Past doesn't really matter because he's still really easy. Or... Link to the past. What am I saying? Link's Awakening. Uh, we'll blow up that hole later. Actually, no, we'll blow it up now. Just for the heck of it. Ah, these things. Who could ever forget these weird rabbit guys? Oh, does the boomerang not affect them? Oh, apparently not. Oh well. We've got an unlimited supply of bombs, so... We'll just throw bombs into the rabbit pen until they die. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Good. Just one more to take care of. Got him. Perfect. On to the next room. Oh, this thing. The little wheel. Yeah. 
It always turns one way and then it turns back. When the mouth opens, attack from within. Then superhuman strength will prevail. Ah. That's a clue on um, how to beat the next boss. Um, which it seems is down this way. So, we don't need to go that way right now. What we need to do instead... We need to find a way... Oh, actually, no, we don't need to do that yet either. First, we'll see what's over here. Ah, a key up there. Whoa, ah! Ow. Oh! Oh, I hate not having the ability to jump. Man. Okay, let's see if we can do this without getting killed. And this, yes, that just takes us back to the wheel thingy. And up here, I believe, is the nightmare key, or the boss key. Uh, they're not called nightmares in this game. I don't know. My head is... I'm not thinking straight today. I'm tired or tired or something. Um, okay, instead of making this more complicated, we're just going to go back here and get in the easy way. heart container. There we go. Now, time to take out this boss. And, what do you know? It's a Dodongo. Bombs. Yeah. So exactly what that owl statue thingy told us. When he opens his mouth, feed him a bomb. Then... Throw him onto the spikes. Whoa. And don't get hit when he rams you. Tries to ram you. Whoa, ah. Whoa, well, bang. And he's dead. Well, that was kind of easy. And here we get the next um, essence of nature, I believe. You get the gift of time and essence of nature. Seeds sprout as seasons change with the gift of time. And the Maku tree says, Thank you, Link. I, too, received part of the gift of time. I just dreamt of Spool Swamp out west. Something is afoot there, but I can see no more. Mm. Uh, so the Maku tree, the guardian of everything, seems to only be of any use when he's sleeping. <laughs> oh! It's Maple! Uh, well, 
Yes, me again. Do I have a grudge against you? Not quite. I don't have a grudge against you, but you give me good stuff. Anyway, this has been Jay on T. We are playing through the Oracle Twins, and uh, we're just about out of time. So, have a good day. See ya.